The University of Washington Computer Science and Engineering Capstone Design courses are a hallmark of the undergraduate program. During a 10-week quarter, students work in teams on fast-paced projects of their own design within specific areas of computing. This enriching experience parallels working for a company or customer in industry, and it challenges students to confront real-world problems with innovation and creativity. Excuse me, I have just a few questions for you. What kind of projects have you been working on this year? So our project is to find out if the best teachers get paid the most or if they're getting paid the least. Our project is Braille Buddies and it's basically a mobile game that's fun and educational and it's specifically targeted to help blind children learn to read and write Braille. We are building a, uh, a power strip and a, um, a uh, four outlet device that can monitor and manage the power consumption of household appliances. My team is working on a prefetcher for Windows 2000. We're making an animated short, uh, kind of like what Pixar DreamWorks does. Pixar puts one from all their films. Ours will probably be um, not as nice, but um, pretty darn close, we hope. Um, help people with cognitive disabilities. What kind of experience do students get from a capstone course? We developed the idea and we're like coding it and we're testing it. I mean, we're everything. For the first part, I did the UI, and for the second part, I did the back end. Working on a comedy animation requires a really impeccable sense of timing because having something be humorous is all about hitting the beats exactly correctly, and so you really have to be perfect about when the funny things are happening. It's something that definitely takes a lot of practice to master that skill. Just general programmer. I modeled a couple things, and I also do shadings. Say, how many hours does it take to complete one of these projects? Over the course of 10 weeks, are 100 plus hours. Probably about 300 hours uh, by the time we finish. Definitely over 100 hours, probably over 150 by the end of the quarter. I think I've worked at least 400 hours on this project so far. Lots. What makes a capstone course stand out from other projects? The greatest thing about it is that you get to see the entire life cycle of a software development. Getting everybody's ideas together is great and it can also be a little painful and so trying to learn that balance of you know letting your ideas take a back seat to somebody else's better idea is it's it's very rewarding it's very great and it's also pretty hard at the same time so it's it's a good experience to have in a learning environment like this we're not really listening to a lecture every day it's more about like the actual process of designing and developing and implementing something like you would in the real world kind of i've learned that to actually start a project from scratch it's a lot more complicated than it seems it's not just like oh take a look at a few papers just start writing you actually have to do a lot of research and a lot of preparation and documentation is really important Incredible possibilities exist for the future of computing, several of which are actively pursued here in CSE at the University of Washington. Students work on a variety of different research topics. These range from artificial intelligence and robotics to human-computer interaction, programs to empower people in the developing world, and many more. My research project involves harvesting ambient TV energy to power microprocessors and collect sensor data. I work on Vanish, uh, which is a project to help people get their privacy back on the web. Today, we're seeing a broader range of opportunities in the field, especially for undergraduates. CSE is an interesting place to be. There's definitely a coolness factor. I work on a project called Reverse Traceroute. Uh, it basically helps us understand the internet better. When we send messages across the internet, we want to understand exactly where they're going. I work on the BAM, uh, and the BAM stands for Brick Actuated Manipulator, and it's a life-sized haptics device. There's a virtual environment where you're interacting with that environment by through this machine, and in this environment, you can design and implement any sort of rehab tools for people who lost control. Excuse me. Last question. Are you going to get a job? Yes, it will help me get a job. It already has. I already got a job. I talked about my game during my, in my interview. And uh, they really liked that I was getting real-world experience. And so I, got, I was hired. Thank you. Anytime.